Hello everyone, this is Dunn the Collector here. Uh, so I got a uh, something that will kind of help me uh, make my videos a little bit better, I think. And I, yeah, I think it would help a lot. So here I have the a 12 inch light, uh, ring light. Um, yeah, here it is. I'm just gonna unbox and see how it works and stuff like that. I never had one of these, I think. What I've heard is supposed to help out with the lighting, I guess. So let's open it up. So yeah, here's the box here. So it says 12 ring light studio with a ball head and 62 inch tripod. I uh, don't know what else it says right behind that. Um, but it's, uh, so this way it says ball head design, tripod, wireless remote included. Okay. Uh, ultra wide range and LED lights, duh. Um, and then enhance your social media posts, I guess. Uh, it's great for vlogging, live videos, video chats, uh, social media, live streaming, and, and health and beauty. Okay. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but not. But as uh, three light colors, 10 levels of brightness. So that's actually really helpful uh, for use with most smartphones. And then it is the Bauer smart pho photography uh, series and then yeah it has all the stuff included on the side there and then here's the back which I'm definitely not going to read all that <laughs> but yeah you get some of that like example of the lighting there um, here's all the stuff with it and then that, that difference in height that you can get with it um and yeah and then follow and tag us I guess but I'm not doing that and then nothing on the top there I'm at bottom there nothing on the top besides the handle so let's crack it open so this right here has me a little worried because there's only two boxes I don't know how they managed to get this stuff in there but I'm guessing this is the light and maybe just a few other pieces with it uh, let's see here. so you have light right here oh yeah and then you get the cords and the remote and stuff like that here um Okay, let's pull that out. And there's the instructions, which I'll probably not read. I'll just guess it. Uh, and then here's like the little pivot here. So yeah, there's that. And it has like that ball, ball joint there. Uh, and then we got the remote. And then we got like that phone stand here, which is bendy wire, which is actually really nice actually um and it looks like it just you screw it on like this right here so i'm just gonna start with the easy part here real quick this will be really helpful actually for my videos because then i won't have to worry about it being super wobbly or anything like that and it looks like you could tighten it with this or loosen it so yeah you could tighten it so it doesn't get real loose or rotates a lot on you you just I'm mainly going to be moving it around like this probably so yeah there's then you get the remote here which I'll use later and then here's the tripod here I believe looks like it yeah here's the tripod and yeah eh I don't know if I like this tripod as much as I like mine that I'm using right now so I may be able to I should yeah I would I'm actually going to use my tripod for this but I don't know how, this is so weird. Oh, because it flips over completely the other way. That's a little scary. I don't want to flip flying back on my face here. Oh my God, what the? All right, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this tripod, but yeah, I like my tripod more, which I'll show you what that looks like, but yeah, this one has me a little worried. But yeah, um, probably won't use that. My sister might use it. So yeah. All right, so I just figured out that you can't actually do that because this little thing here, I'm guessing it's for the ring light, which actually kind of makes sense why. But yeah, you just want, yeah, it is definitely because of that. <laughs> so for the ring light here, in the inner part of it, that's where you want to plug in like this 
little tripod thing here and then the bottom that's where you're gonna plug it in at the bottom here so i'm just gonna first start off with this little tripod part here so righty tidy lefty loosey yeah it's a little weird and then oh yeah i forgot to twist it completely so that way it doesn't get so loose here but yeah this here is supposed to tighten the ball joint so that way it doesn't get so loose so then if you want to loose, loosen it like that pops right out like that i'm just gonna screw it back tighten it here just like that and you got the first part of the ring light ready here and then here you just want to screw the ring light onto the trap The wiring kind of screws me up. Oh, maybe I could just screw it in by rotating the bottom part over here. There we go. Oh, come on. Wait. All right, it's almost there. Ah, I feel tightened there. There we go. And then like each one of these like little joints here or you know these little poles you just want to tighten it there to a certain height if you want like that same deal with these just like that easy and then oh it's a usb port that's a little i guess huh. i'll figure something out with that i guess i'll just find a cube extra cube that we have or laying around for it to test or i'll just use my ps4 for it but most likely we'll use a cube so yeah just not one of those plugins so yeah and then here's the remote i need to figure out where to plug it in at here actually i didn't even bother to look at there um sorry. oh wait so there is a room, like this other piece here for the ring light. So you can see the power on button, brightness. I'm guessing that's supposed to be switching through with different lighting. Oh, the remote here. I see what it is. It's for starting or starting or stopping your video. Android and iOS. Ah. So I'm guessing this is Bluetooth. Which we'll see here. I will test that out and yeah, this thing comes apart there. So I'm just gonna latch, loop that through real quick. Just like this. It's easy, it's pretty easy. There we go, easy stuff. But yeah, um, oh yeah, there's an on button right here. If it'll focus, there we go. And then you just flip down and then, yeah, it's Bluetooth for sure. So yeah, just connect your phone to it and then you should be able to start or stop your phone from recording or if you want to take a picture, I guess. So yeah, there's that. I'm just gonna turn it back off here and then let's try to get this thing set up. Oh, there we go, it worked. The remote works though, so that's cool. And then yeah, you just pair that up. Um, let's see how this light goes here. I wish I thought the, oh, I just unplugged the damn thing. Hey, whoops. Oh, that thing is bright. And then you can turn it down. That shuddered quickly there. Yeah, it brightens up like that quick. Whoa. And then I think the rotating thing, it's different lighting like that. And that, and fluorescent. Very bright LED, and then the normal kind of, and then yeah, we'll go through the other stuff here in a second. And then, if I want to stop the video, like I'm about to do right now, and then this is what it would look like with the like bright white lights going on here. And I just unplugged the damn thing again. Okay. Eh, just like that. Wow, that's 
it's bright. And if I want to rotate it, that's what the blue one looks like. Fluorescent, no, that's white. That's a fluorescent one, which I'll probably use. Um, and then I guess we'll try using this towards the uh, action figure. Uh, my next action figure, and I just try my PS4. Um, the next action action figure uh, box that I have, which is a Halo figure. Let's see how if this thing reflects it off badly or not. So we'll see here in a second. Okay, so it kind of does reflect a little bit off this box here, but then if I probably just dim it down just a little bit, I think it may not be just from this actually. Um, but yeah, there's that lighting there. That's the fluorescent one. That's the blue one I'm not sure about, and then the white one, which I'd probably be most likely to use. Um, and then here's that, like one of the actual boxes with plastic here in a second. So I don't know about using it against the plastic ones. It might be a good one. And this might be good for like me doing like gaming videos. If I tilt it a little bit that way, it kind of like takes the reflection off of it. Um, but yeah, this will, I think this lighting will probably be better if I use it for my gaming videos than the action figure ones. Maybe if I'm taking out the action figures and then reviewing them, that would be better. I'll just do the boxing port part of it without the light here. And then this can be on when I'm like going over the actual figure itself. But let's see if it does anything. If I just switch the lighting a little bit, maybe. Yeah, no, nope. Uh, what if I lower it? Yeah, you can still see the ring there. It's not gonna change a whole bunch, but yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna be using this for like any discussion things I have going on. I actually have one going on uh, that I'm thinking about doing. Uh, about the uh, Spider-Man 3 movie at some point, like how my thoughts are about it. And then also I'm gonna do, I won't be doing my birthday vlog with it. this, obviously I'll be going out around with my friends and hanging out and stuff. My birthday is actually on election day, but I'm gonna celebrate it with my friends on Halloween. And then I'll be uh, celebrating it with my family. So yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be using this mostly for, like, any gaming or discussion stuff that I have going on. And I'll also use this for the part where I take out the figures. I won't use them while I'm going over the box because it just reflects too much off the plastic. So, yeah. Um, but besides that, I am happy that I got this. I think it looks a lot better for me if I'm doing, like, gaming or talking. So, yeah. And I think what makes this thing really cool, makes my eye color pop out a lot better. Because a lot of people say that I have pretty eyes. So, or cool, cool looking eyes. They change color. So, changes brown to green. So that's cool. But besides that, I hope you guys liked the video and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs>